Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel, your go-to place for software tips, tutorials, and honest reviews. In today's video, we are diving into something every student, professional, and productivity nerd needs, which is a note-taking app. And not just any app, we're talking about Joplin, an open-source, privacy-focused, and completely free note-taking software that's been getting a lot of attention lately but the real question is is joplin truly the best free note-taking app out there we will explore its key features interface and performance and see how it stacks up against other popular notes like notion evernote and obsidian so if you're looking for a reliable and customizable tool to organize your thoughts and tasks let's begin Joplin is a free, open-source note-taking and to-do app designed for users who want privacy, flexibility, and full control over their data. It's often compared to apps like Evernote or Notion with... Joplin is a free, open-source note-taking and to-do app designed for users who want privacy, flexibility, and full control over their data it's often compared to apps like evernote or notion but with one major difference you own your notes since everything can be stored locally or on your own cloud service now if you go to the official website there is two options this is an open source wherein you can download the app as you may notice that here you also have the ability to download the Joplin app for mobile. If you're using an Android, go to the Google Play Store. And if you're using an iPhone, go to the App Store. You also have the ability to go for the Joplin Cloud. And as you may notice, here it allows you to synchronize your notes across devices and letting you publish notes and collaborate on notebooks with your friends, family, or colleagues. But the pricing plans are here accordingly from Basic, Pro, and Teams. But for now, we're going to go and download the Joplin app. Now, it's very important and highly suggested to sign up for a free trial. So you can get a hands-on feel of the software before committing to buy it or if you want to use it for your business. This way, you'll know if it fits your goals, needs, and learning curve. In this instance, as you may notice, we will be forwarded to the app itself. It's very clean, it's um, straightforward, and it's functional. Here, there is going to be a plus sign wherein if you click the new notes, you can do so. You can add a new note right here. You can be creative. You can make this. And you can add more information. For example, Joplin Notes has a suggestion on the left side. Welcome to Joplin, importing and exporting notes. It's like giving you a summary of what to do best. All right. So that's one of the things that I like here in Joplin. Apart from that, there is a section here that says new to do. If you click on that and you can add it here, you can simply create. Bottom left corner, you have the synchronize option we're in. Again, remember earlier, if you have the ability to create an account in Joplin Cloud, you have the ability to sync your notes, publish notes on the internet, collaborate on notebooks with others, especially if you're working in a team or an organization. This is very handy and helpful. Now, having said all of that, on the uh, trash icon, if, for example, if you don't want to see that note right here, maybe I don't want this note. If you delete if you want to delete that you can do so and it will be forwarded to the trash icon the tags here you see this play button right the play button gives you the ability to check all the notes that you have currently right now you have the ability to edit if you want to insert or attach a file you can do so and then in the left side for example if you click the welcome to joplin importing and exporting notes you see these are going to be some of the um, notes that you can use as well. If you want to add, for example, um, a file, you can attach a file here. So the file has been added here, which gives you more in interactivity with using the Joplin note-taking app. 
you see on the view you can use the uh, toggle sidebar these are going to be some shortcuts for you to navigate the platform it's very handy and then you have the note if you want to open in new windows or if you want to toggle external editing you can do that you also have the option to click the note priorities id url and note history which is kind of really helpful if you want to track all the progress updates if you are working in a collaborative environment so you'll know who does what and does when all right the tools here gives you all these spell checker link to note manage master password and if you want to create a backup you have the ability to do so and then again on the edit you have the ability to create a hyperlink if you want to add your website or your maybe a more specific link you can do that and of course remember earlier you have the ability to synchronize which is obviously an option here at the bottom as well now if you want to export all your notes you can do that you see that these are going to be the files jex is going to be the native file which is joplin export file you have the raw joplin export directory md is marked down md html and of course the most commonly used file is going to be pdf now you see that this platform is very easy to use it's intuitive and you can really tell it's easy to navigate with virtually no learning curve my suggestion is if you'd like to explore further you can also check authentic user reviews detailed feedback pricing information and potential alternatives to joplin you can visit trusted review software platforms like here in captera and g2.com the sites provide valuable insights from real users helping you make a well-informed decision that fits your specific needs and budget and with that being said so is joplin the best free note taking app out there honestly it's definitely one of the strongest contenders now if you're someone who values privacy flexibility and offline functionality joplin is absolutely a top tier free choice but if you are after a sleek ui or real-time team collaboration you might want to explore other options if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss more software reviews and tutorials just like this one and if you have tried dropping yourself would love to hear your thoughts and if you have any questions or if you want to cover us on another tool let us know in the comments below would love to hear from you and as always thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video